dealing with any any kind of illness or disabilities is that always that fine balance of balancing resting and enjoying life and when life keeps adding like straw is it is your responsibility to life it keeps powering up powering up powering up it's like one a rock into the pond it makes lots of round ripples continuously from and it's for somebody who can't like me can't push down on here to take the inhaler it does it for you so you can use it in that direction i'm stacy i'm john and this is raw ability life, life. You think there's a problem there? Yes, I don't, I don't think it, it's going to train things very well. I think there's a big problem there. I think there is a big problem between you and my colanders. Hey, it's the only one I ever broke. It's not the only one you ever broke. Yes, yeah, you know. That one you had to buy me to replace the other one you broke. No. Even your mates at work were witness to that one because you had to take me to work to buy me that colander. Yeah, one time. To replace the other one you broke. I didn't break another one. We, we only own this one. Yeah, we do only own that one because you broke the other one. Which we referred to? The blue one. Plastic one. That's not broken. It was all the time still. It's not broken. <laughs> Where, where's that one broken? I don't know, but you said it was broke. You broke it. So no, that's you, why you had to look at this one in the store and want to buy it. No, yes. I had to buy a new colander. No. Because you broke it. But regardless, look what you've done to my colander. I'll prove the blue one when I get it. You broke my colander. Yeah, I said, well, I finished breaking it. It was broken for a long time. Yeah, it's had a crack in it for a while because you broke it. We're crack. Now you've really broke it. Don't you just shrug your shoulders? <laughs> I had to. Sorry. At least say good morning to everybody. How rude. Good Monday morning. It is actually morning. It is morning. It's before 10 a.m. It is. It's scary. Very, very scary. We're on the case of the invest uh, of the disappearing comments. <laughs> <laughs> the, dis the disappearing comment case. <laughs> the DCC. DCC. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. It's out of my arms. Yeah. And there's something on it again. There's like a little shine. You've got the lens gay. Let me go clean it. Yeah, I got the lens dirty again. Uh, just talking, we're, we're sorting out my evening meds and some, a little bite to eat. We're not cooking tonight, we're just making a little snack. Um, sometimes it's just, it's difficult to juggle everything. Sometimes you just have to do things a little different just to make it work for both of us, I think. And both of us are feeling exhausted. Um, at the moment, John is working every Monday to um, work extra hours so that he gets paid for the free like days that he would normally work when we go away for those six weeks. So for the three days a week he would normally work, so he works eight, over eight, eight hours over those three weeks. Three days, sorry. Um, 
But while we were away, or while we were away last time, we used up all the time he had put away before, near enough. So we needed to put some away, more away, to go away again. So the moment he's working extra hours on Mondays and that on top of my care needs is a lot. So he's wiped out and I'm playing the juggle act of resting but trying to get everything done I want to get done before sorry before going away and sometimes you just have to say you know what it would be so much easier just to have something cold to eat tonight. And tonight is one of them nights, isn't it, honey? It is, it is, it is. So we're having sandwiches. Um. And it, it is, I think it always is a fine balance in general when you're dealing with any any kind of illness or disabilities it's that always that fine balance of balancing resting and enjoying life because you can't totally go out and do this do that do this the other because you'd wear yourself to the point of being totally sick and hospitalized um but at the same time, you cannot sit at home doing nothing all your life in fear of being hospitalised. You have to find that fine balance of being going out and doing things and enjoying life, but taking days to rest and recuperate from that. And it's the same with caring for somebody finding that fine balance of caring for them plus meeting your own needs and meeting the needs of a relationship as well so that time for not being my carer but us being a couple so going out and having some fun or just something like I'm watching a movie everything's a fine balance isn't it Yep. And like everybody, we get it wrong. We have our moments where we just forget one bit of the harmonious balance and it tips over. And then we go, oops. <laughs> and fix we go, it. oopsie doopsies. Oopsie doopsies and fix it. Um, or fix it as best we can. But life is a balance it's all a balancing game and, and i think you can look at it even if you don't have disabilities even if you're not caring for somebody life in general is still a balance it's a balance you know about working and living so life is a balance isn't it a balancing game <laughs> You're funny. Can I, I'm gonna see if I can turn the camera so it gets you in it too. Oh, you can reach it better than me. I don't have to go all the way around. So you can reach over and reach it. When I'm here on my own, I have to go all the way around. Can reach it? Yeah, you can. You can reach the camera and turn it. I thought you could. You've done it before. <coughs> well, I'm gonna go grab my inhaler so I'll turn it before. I guess in some ways that fine balance is very similar to the pond with the stone theory like oh how's that? The pond's cut yourself out of it. Hopefully not. Nah, I think I'll do it. There, we got a space in it now. 
So I guess in some ways that the fine balance of like life in general, whether disabled, not disabled, carer, not carer, whatever, is very much too like the pond and stone. It's more like the straw that broke the camel's back. Okay, I haven't heard this theory. Straw that broke the camel's back. Explain this one. Okay, camels carry straw. And when life keeps adding, like straw is it is your responsibility to life. It keeps piling up, piling up, piling. It's like one little bit that's too much that we can't that the camel can't carry it all anymore. And it breaks it back. Okay, that's probably a better example than my pond and the stone theory. So when I was it a might be an American thing. Okay. So when I was a little girl, um, the way that was explained to me about epilepsy is the way I would explain it to my friends and my teachers. And it was explaining it if you can imagine a pond or a lake and you it's you know the lakes and ponds are for the most are fairly calm and you get the odd sort of water ripple that goes across every now and then because maybe a duck has swum past or a boat's come along and gently glided across but nothing over activity is that's probably the word no, what? I have no clue um, nothing Activious. too nothing that's not even too, a word what's the word I want then like nothing too adventurous I don't know um, nothing too big uh, just small little nothing too ripples. crazy <laughs> yeah uh, but each of those little ripples as they happen whether it's the swan or the duck or um, the little boat floating by is some sort of event in that person's day. Uh, the pond in this case representing the brain or brain waves I guess is the better way of putting it. So each time an activity is done it is it makes some sort of movement. The water makes some sort of movement. So the boat could be representation of doing exercise the duck swimming could be representation of eating. Um, so we all get some sort of movement within our ponds. For somebody with epilepsy, when they're going into seizure, it's like somebody has got a big rock and thrown it into the pond. Now we all know when you throw a pebble or a rock into the pond, it makes lots of round ripples continuously from the same position to start with. It's not like the duck or the boat where the, it moves around and goes can go any direction and then moves with the object. It stays in the same place as the rock fell and it keeps making these ripples and each of the ripples <laughs> gets thank you gets bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> you did that without no what you knew what i was gonna say there didn't you oh, <laughs> so the ripples get bigger and bigger and bigger as they go out but as they're going out more are coming out with it so um and and that's the activity of the seizure it's very energetic it's very tiring um and then after that rest is needed because the body's tired so that's why i was thinking the pond and pebble or because obviously depending on the size of the stone or pebble or rock um depends on the size of the seizure but that's why i was thinking of that theory to life in general but i think yours probably works for life in general we're being very um, deep thought today, aren't we? We are. So, um, I don't think I've ever. Whoa, I ain't got a belt on. I have. Where are you gonna fall? Through, through <laughs> the counter? I don't think I've ever explained to anybody what this thing here is that I use on my inhaler. Um, we did start making a video, info video about 
my asthma equipment and stuff like that a long time ago but I've never got around to finishing it because we're waiting for somewhere we can finish recording it and it's just till we get rid of the shed that's not happening but we have some interest so hopefully maybe it will be sold um, so this blue thing here it actually does come off lids on Oh, it off a that one for some reason kind of awesome. I don't it never used to. Um, it, it actually just looks like this. So it just It looks like a thing. Oh it came off anyway. It just tucks in over the inhaler there. And it's for somebody who can't like me can't push down on here to take the inhaler it does it for you so you can use it in that direction so you push it that way instead of pushing it that way it makes your inhalers a lot easier to use especially if you have um grip problems uh yeah these were amazing find they are called Hala aids h-a-l-e-r-a-i-d now depending on yeah, depending on the size of your inhaler, depends on the number of what you need to order for this. If you've got the standard size, it's inhaler 200, inhaler aid 200 you want to order. Um, I couldn't tell you for anything else because we specifically asked the doctors for making sure we get this size to fit my inhaler aids. I mean, it looks a little weird on that one because they changed the inhaler on that one so it doesn't quite fit it anymore. Oh yeah, because they've changed it to say how many doses are left. Yeah, so they changed it. But it still works. It still works though, so. Um, but they are really good assistive devices and it still works with the spacers. Can I put my space on? So, <laughs> That mask needs a good wash. So whether you use a spacer with a mask like I do, or whether you use one with a mouthpiece, these still fit in without a problem. Um, mouthpieces, these mouth face mask um, pieces are a fairly new thing I've started using. What, I think about a year ago? The asthma nurse had me start using these? Maybe, yeah. Um, because I was finding, we were finding I needed to be more assisted more and more. And to be assisted, it's better to have the mask than the mouthpiece. Um, so they changed all mine over to masks now. Um, and you can get adult ones, not just children ones. I can still do it myself on a good day though. But the ones and as well. If you're making the funky noise with this, be aware you're doing it wrong. You're not supposed to make the noise. It means you're probably breathing it too fast. Or too well, yeah, normally it's too fast. I don't think you can go too deep. You just gotta slow it down, slow down your breathing. Um, it should not make the noise. That's why the noise is there. The noise is there to tell you you're doing it wrong. Um, and if you're doing it with some assisting somebody to make sure they're actually breathing it in, you can watch the little, the little counter bit here, and it moves back and forwards, doesn't it? So you yep. can tell when I'm using it. So this mask needs a good clean, honey. So, yeah, fun facts for you. Probably for some who are not asthmatic, absolutely useless. For others, maybe handy. Um, so yeah, today has just been really busy for us, so we thought we would just have a quick chat to you while we did up my meds. Sorted out some tea for me. You're gonna sort out yourself some tea, aren't you? Yep. What are you gonna have? Oh no, yeah. What is our rule? 
Would anybody like them? You can have them for free. I do not mind mailing them to you. You may also have the tremolo to go with it. But I am keeping my coffee. <laughs> coffee is off limits. It is. Coffee is off limits. It's the one joy I have. I don't drink alcohol. I don't do drugs unless they're prescribed. And <laughs> I have my coffee and I enjoy my coffee. <laughs> yuppers, 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 and hot yuppers. chocolate. I love my hot chocolate too. So I think tonight we're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow John's not working, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more lively in this household, but um and hopefully I can show you a bit tomorrow what I got up to today with my crafts. I did actually do quite a lot of my crafts today, didn't I? Okay. But then yeah. Okay, yeah. That was a question. That's how tired he is. He's not paying attention to me. <laughs> I don't know how much you got done. Literally, I got home and you were putting the wrong thing on the wrong thing. Wrong thing on the wrong thing. <laughs> and you fell asleep at the computer. Yes. So. <laughs> um, yeah, I've done quite a lot, but um, most of it's drying. So. And I need it to dry so that bits can fall off that aren't going to stay stuck on so I can re-stick them on. Sounds stupid but everything, they, you know what's going to fall off when you leave it overnight. Then you give it a shake and what's going to fall off falls off. Come and say goodnight with me. Ow, maybe my arm doesn't go that way. <laughs> so... Thank you all for putting up with us, even on the boring days. Stop tickling me, you <laughs> Thank you for sticking around on the good days, the bad days, the boring days, the fun days, the cool days, the crazy days. The crazy days are most days, aren't they? And the blur days. And the blur days. And we will see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us in our crazy world. world. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you spat with a chin. I love you. No, you do. Hmm. <laughs>